welcome to Project Runway via Miami Vice. Corona, gonna die, gonna get the. Welcome to the next Project Runway. Um, I've been feeling. I'll be honest. It's been about twelve days since an episode. I feel like total shit. I, I come out here. I'll tinker for about an hour or seven, and I won't get anything done. No, he says he's working out. He says, I'm going to go no, work I'm out. I'm going to work out, and then I won't work and out. he doesn't work out. And then I don't do anything. Uh, then he eats five bowls of cereal. Five bowls of Captain Crush, <laughs> and I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> my outfit's inspired by my homeboy, Mountain Marty, on Instagram. I saw the other day he had a uh, chest rig. I was like, oh, dude, I got a chest rig. Also have a Dan Wesson Valor. So yeah, that's When did pretty. you get that? I've had this for a long time. So you're just dressed up to feel cooler? Just Honestly, add a little spice to things? Things are getting bad out there. People are in roving bands now, and <laughs> how am I gonna protect my family? And I'm gonna do it with the 1911 and giant testicles. Can you see that part? Yep. Um, I took apart the front axle because I got bored and wanted to no, spray paint things. And, yeah, well, yeah. If you want to see a quality disassembly of a front disc axle. Let me guess, 40 channel? Yeah, check out my homeboy, Jason, on the 40 channel. That guy's got an awesome disassembly. Video. I'm not gonna lie, he might have had that on the big TV in the house the other night, yeah, and it was, wasn't my so, favorite. A little closer, six feet or more or less. Or not social distancing. All right, so. These are bits of the front axle that I took apart. Quit wiggling it at such a high rate of speed. <laughs> yeah, don't want it to go off. I polished up some stuff. We'll talk about that a little later. But let's just say the front axle is nearing ready for reassemble. I will do a video on that because there seems to be quite a bit of uh, room for mistakes. And I am going to make them. <laughs> You've got some dirt on your crotch. Where? What the hell is that? Grease? I think it's grease. <laughs> I'm going to discuss all the parts that I bought for the rear disc conversion. I got the calipers. Okay? <laughs> Chevy Monte Carlo calipers. Gosh, you are just one classy picture right now. Just... Get a load of these girls, boys. I paint them gold because I've got a mental disability. Then... Disc brake rotors. I bought these as well. The old man did it. So I got these disc brake rotors to go with the calipers. Buy these brackets. Your friend did it. Or have a friend you? make you some. Why My you friend made me some. Huh? Why is there tape on it? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Did you ruin something? <laughs> no, but I'm going to ruin it. Once you have the calipers, the brackets, the rotors, make sure you get hardware. Oh, sorry. Hardware, sorry. Hardware to install it. A proportioning valve. From Willwood. Come on, let me try it on. No. Why not? I'll take it off when I get into the heavy duty stuff. Because I'm about to reveal something that we're going to do. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I'm nervous now. I don't want to do it by myself because I've done it before. But I'm going to fit up the brackets on the rear axle for the disc. And then I'm going to take out the old axle from under the Land Cruiser and put the new axle underneath it. We're doing that today? Guaranteed hernia F failure? and slash back injuries. My buddy made these for me. They're awesome. Ryan Apple? Yeah, but there's one issue. I fit the caliper bracket on and I mocked it up. That's engineering talk for, I put bolts in to see how it would look. Okay, that's three bolts. And on the fourth bolt, I have a little bit of, a little bit of not gonna make it. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do. It's not quite lined up. Yeah, it's not quite lined up. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use all the skills I've learned. Oh. For fuck's sakes, birds. Do they need to get in a fight? It's mating season. This hole is slightly off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make it fit. You're gonna force it? Yeah, I'm gonna force it. So technically, these spacers are supposed to go right here. 
Does that not line up either though? But it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't line up. This flange is too big. Mm. Or my spacers aren't the right side, I don't care. This le leaves me room for my own fiddling engineering. So I've, I've went and purchased washers and I'm gonna grind them down to fit and they will work as the spacers. What we're gonna do first is drill these out to make sure they fit and we'll get the old axle out real quick. There's the pumpkin, the neglected, abused pumpkin. You're a pumpkin. Are you gonna wear some kind of protective gear on your eyeballs? Honey, the only protective gear I need is right up here. I've got an assortment of drill bits. Just gotta pick a big one. That looks pretty big. Is it a 12? <laughs> Should I clamp this down, do you think, or just hold it down with my hand? I'd say clamp it. Clamp it. Did you like mark it so you were actually drilling the right place? Ah! I told you to clamp it, you idiot. No, I just, my, feet, my index finger went down in this hole and then this caught traction. Right, and if it and was then clamped, smashed my hand. if it was clamped, it wouldn't move. Ah, man. Just clamp it down. The clamp clamps it. are gonna hold this, honey. Yes, it is. That's what it does. No, it's not, it's not gonna hold it. Yeah, huh? Oh, probably gonna have to repaint this. Who cares? It's gonna be hidden. Honey, you're gonna hurt yourself. Science. Engineering. Facts. Isn't it fabrication, not engineering? Yeah, whatever. Let's go and see if that one worked. The reason I'm putting the other axle in is because I figure if I mount up all the brakes, the whole assembly, and then try to install it, it's gonna be way heavier. And since I'm doing it by myself, oh, you feel it? Huh? Can you feel the genius? You know what helped me through that? This guy. Because when this guy sees me packing a 45, it's like, hey, do what he says. Dude's a wizard. And this is my wand. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> oh, you know what my mom is. I'm a big measure once, cut once guy. Like, <laughs> that's my, my thing. Why is it, it only goes for like a second and then it just dies on me. Is it because I'm using a wood drill? I don't know anything about a wood, drills. A wood drill bit. <laughs> There's only one kind of drill I know. And it's not for wood. <laughs> Engineering. No. Fabrication. Kind of. Intercourse. No. Later. No. Just put this guy away and we'll be back on, back on track. You just burned yourself? Yeah, they got hot. Apparently, apparently when you, uh, when you use a drill bit for cutting metal, it'll heat up. It's called friction. I wonder if I've learned that in a previous episode. I think you've learned it a few times. That's one thing you, you guys are about to experience. He doesn't retain information, you guys. Ugh. You're not going to drop the whole thing on us, are you? No, I'm going to drop it on me. I feel like here. that leather's too red. I don't Boom, like the red. Dude. Tone. Okay, so a lot of you might be thinking, hey, Ben, you counted on your friend Ryan to make this for you, and there was, it was off slightly. That kind of stuff's going to happen. you got to make some adjustments on your own. Shit. You know, I painted these, and now they're all scratched up. This is good, actually, because I didn't mean to paint them flat black. How's that for... I grabbed the spray paint can and forgot that the lid is the one that shows you what color it's going to be. So I ended up accidentally painting that and a couple other parts flat black. Huge myth, mistake. Mistake. They're going to be covered up halfway anyway. Now let's go to the engineering station. Fabrication station. Hey, that kind of sounds like a... Like a dream place. Come on down to the fabrication station. I like to call them like the dol a dolphin head clamp because it reminds me of the head of a dolphin. That looks more like a beluga to me. A more prominent forehead. Wait, splitting hairs, aren't we, honey? Oh yeah, actually dolphins have it. Yeah. Oh yeah, well check this out. Boom, oh, dolphin snout. No, it still looks like a beluga just with the silver fish in its mouth. About to put a silver fist in your mouth. You're gonna need to uh, <laughs> insert picture of beluga. 
<laughs> I expect you to do that. I already have one. It's me. No, you're the not. The pale bald no, bike. No, you don't look like a beluga. Okay, that's pretty secure. This is gonna get exceptionally hot, so. Eyes. Are you gonna? My eyes are nowhere near the screen. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go get some eye pro. Is there anything flammable near nearby? <laughs> Just this firearm I'm holding. Should you wear gloves so you're not burning yourself? I don't know, honey, I'd rather not be a giant pussy on my shelf. Well, okay, I need to so... dip this in some water because it's super hot and I'm not gonna touch this with my hands. Put it in the, you have to put it in the hands. dog bowl. What'd you say? Put it in the dog bowl. Yeah, that's actually what I've been doing. Fabrication. Yes. See? Fabrication. So Genius. I just need to make a couple more of these. You don't think that that would weaken and it was going to crack in while it's on there and like fall off and jack up your whole system? No, I don't think that. Okay. But what I do think is I need to make four more. One, two, three, three more. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. I need to make eight of these. Oh. Uh. I will use this as a template for the other ones. I see a lot of smart people doing that. Copying me. Yeah, you're right. Shit. <laughs> Beluga. That's what it looks like. Arr! Arr! Science! You should lick it. No, it's not the first time you said that. Notice the conical shape of the wheel here. So, if I was using something, a flat sanding device, and it wouldn't be rounded. It wouldn't be rounded like I need. So this is perfect. It's flat. It's not rounded. It's completely no, it's slight, flat. It's slightly rounded. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Huh. Ah! I'm just going to let those cool. Should I paint these? No. You can't even see those. Yeah, but. No. I can see them. No. I'll know they're there. No. Do what to the wheels? Chocolate. Oh, shit. To get the rear axle out, I need to lift up the cruiser and rest the uh, frame onto jack stands. Too much caulk they used on that thing? Yeah, it's impressive. Okay, frame's off the ground. Uh, You're gonna have to take the leaf springs off too, huh? Yes, that's why I'm not looking forward to it. It seems that your remember. jack stands are not that tall to get to the frame. What? Seems like you might have to take the tires off in order oh, to do I it. Got tall jack stands. Ow. Yeah. Dude, I just cleaned off. Ugh. Cleaned off what, honey? The frame. I just painted it. Yeah. It Who cares? No, oh, I just. You're so silly about the paint. I don't understand that. It's you a don't? freaking truck. It's oh. a truck. Who cares if the paint isn't perfect? You're getting real OCD about it, honey. Like, you just use the paint as an excuse to fiddle and do nothing productive. No response? You hear that? No, I don't have Crickets. He has no response. It's because I just hit the nail on the head. Just put some rag on it. Put a rag on it. I'm putting this little rubber thing there. Is it uneven? Yeah. Well, the pumpkin's off center. So it, uh... Ah, it doesn't lift evenly. Got it. Behold, the Milwaukee Impact. Back injury. Man, this little gun is so awesome, you guys. Get one. Get two. I've got a genius idea, honey. I can do this without taking, without taking the leaf springs off. I can do the back axle. You're just gonna take that U joint things off? Those big horseshoe shaped things off? I'm not sure that you're correct in that assumption, sweetheart. I think you're gonna have to take it off. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bench press it. Um, no, no, you're not. No, no, it's, it's that, it's that heavy. It's yeah, heavy but, heavy. but you can't get it off without like moving this. it over to the side. I'm gonna turn it, and then I'll just push it off myself. I feel like this is a real bad idea, sweetheart. I think you're stupid. Could I'm you at least take those lizard. like end things off so it's not as heavy? What, the drums? Yes. Oh, you saw how hard it was for me to get those off from the other one? Honey, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a great idea. All great ideas start with a wife saying, that's not a good idea. Are you, just don't say watch this, okay? No, I know better than that. So yeah, unbolt the leaves. 
and then the axle is essentially free, right? Right. <laughs> it's science. You have to unbolt the shocks as well, right? Yeah. I'm not you. using my hand. I'm using my giant brain. Stop that. There, I got, I got you it. idiot. I'm not an idiot. Yes, huh? Grandma's going to yell at you. Because you just used your hand again. I got it on tape. I'm going to sandblast these. Oh, gosh. It's all coming together, honey. No, I think this is a really bad idea. That little bastard's going to be... It's going to be real heavy, though. But I'm strong. I don't know. You keep not actually working out, so... I'm a lot stronger than people give me credit for it. I have I a mental know. toughness. You, you can't. Mm. <laughs> 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 your face. <laughs> Stupid. It seems like you're you're gonna break it. You're gonna bend your little your horseshoe thing again. Ben. It's the wrong way. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, show? You show see title? You see that? He was doing it the wrong well, way. Well, wasn't doing it the yeah, wrong way. Yeah, you were. You were pulling it through the, with the freaking wrong way. There you go. I was trying to loosen it, honey. No, you weren't. Yes, no, you weren't. You were being dumb. Oh, wow. Those are hand tight. <laughs> I meant to check that anyway, so. Okay. See, when you, oh, shit, that hurts. <laughs> when you tug on it, they grow. Shocks. Yeah, lots of things do that. Taffy, for instance. If you pull on it, it grows. Okay. Saltwater taffy. Okay, now, now comes the hard part. I really think this is a bad plan. See that? No big deal. Except you're not under it right now. If you took the drums off, it wouldn't be as big a deal. Or just one I'm drum off. I'm not taking the drum off. I can't. First of all, I lack the skills. <clears throat> you're nothing happened. I need an impact screw thing. I don't have one of those. Just cut it off. I'm not cutting anything off. You know, I just burped and threw up in my mouth. What I intend to do, honey, is harness the mother stamina. Nope. Harness the mother... Adrenaline? Yeah, where mom lifts the car off the child. Only I'm putting in this better axle. <laughs> You've got no child under there. I know, that's what I'm saying. You need to like have some kind of arrangement for one of your buddies that if you die doing something stupid on the Land Cruiser, they know how to like part it out so that I'm not screwed up. Like yeah. trying to sell this on my own. That's true. I need this out of the way though. Land Cruiser Widow. I need this to be out of the way. Well, get your rubbery hangy downy thing. See, the Land Cruiser actually has hooks, so you can hang your uh, shock. <laughs> good, good enough. This is All a right, boys. This is such a bad idea. Dude, this is a horrible idea. Yeah, maybe just a little. Are you just gonna get, try to get one side off first and lay it down across your body? Shut up! I'm thinking, okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh, honey. Honey, honey. Um, Strength of ten men, at least. Who's <laughs> <laughs> left? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Please be careful. What am I bumping up against? Oh, it's the. <laughs> Dude, you have a huge hole in your crotch. <laughs> hole in your pants. Shut up! <laughs> I <care> about their... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's your junk? Oh, you're gonna dig into your crotch with that pointy thing. That hurts pretty bad too. You want me to help you? Get off me, you bastard! Do you want me to help you? <laughs> Do you need some help? No! Here. Don't help me! <laughs> that's how... That's how you do it! Stupid. 
I'm going, feeling a lot of emotions right now. How come the only thing you can say <laughs> the entire time is I have a hole in my crotch? Well, I didn't know you had a hole in your crotch. And those pants are supposed to be destructible, so how did your balls ruin the crotch? I don't know. I'll talk to Bulletproof Denim. I don't know. Send us some new pants, Bulletproof. Come on. Some panic in your eyes. I did panic quite a bit. I was scared you were going to knock it off of the jack stand and you were going to get crushed. I was too. Let's be honest. When I got down to that part, I was like, what's in the way? You should have put another, a couple extra down there just in case. What, uh, what side? Short side. Short side. That goes on the right side. Yeah, short side, right side. You're going to take the ends off though before you put that under, well, right? No, I have to kind of use those to get it in there. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Honey, I don't want you to... What, die? Yeah. Honey, the hard part's over. No, I don't want you to knock it off of the jack stands while you're putting it's that It's not going to get knocked off of the jack yeah. stands, honey. I, you could get it's crushed. It's a million pounds back there. Yeah, you could get crushed, honey. You want me to put another set of jack stands Yes, there? I want you to put in another... Or, or put the tires, like, underneath so that if it fell, it, it would catch on the leaf springs. How about I just put another pair of jack stands? Because that sounds like a lot of work. Can you push on the truck a couple times? No, the other way, like sideways. I really don't. Harder. I'm not doing that. What was that? Flashlight. Oh, flash I'm not doing that while it's up in the air, honey. Okay, I'm gonna lift up this part. What am I supposed to You do? just lift up this part. So okay. move this. Yeah, move the ruler out of the way. I'm just gonna bring this to the ground. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, that's nice easy. I don't know, honey. Ooh, that little tab's gonna rip yourself. That's gonna hurt. Hold this down. Uh, you know what you might do? You might use the um, engine hoist to lift it and get under it, and then I can lower it onto you so that you're not like dragging it over your whole body or drag it over your whole body. Yeah, that works, I guess. What if we put that on our... So powerful! Should have worn pants without holes in the crotch for this. gonna get hooked stuck on this side there you go you gotta get the nipples in the right spot you could probably get out from underneath it to do that do it from the side honey Yourself. It's really not a good idea, you guys. No. Get help. No. The amount of feedback I'm going to receive. They're all going to call you a moron. I imagine they're going to be upset with me and my, my tactics. My grandma, especially. She's going to be really upset. This is an opportunity for me to display my strength. Please check out my buddy Mountain, Mar Mountain Marty on Instagram. He's pretty funny. He has a chest, chest rig, too, or a chest holster. Shoulder holster. It looks, it's cool. He's got one too. It's cool. It was super random. Yeah. Check out my homeboy at, on the 40 channel. If you want some tips about disassembling the front axle, he's got a great YouTube a show. A little bit guys. more like accurate and streamlined. Yeah, he does streamlined. it all correctly. He's correctly. very good. Yeah. And he's Australian. He just hit a thousand subscribers. So I just want to give him a huge thumbs up anyway. Way to go, Jason. You're a bloody legend. Where the hell? What? What are you talking about? Are the rear shock tabs? There's no way to attach the shocks. Does yours not have those? 
Well, you don't have a sticky thingy outy thing. What the So hell? you're missing that thing where the shot goes? What the? What the? There's a hole for it. You just don't seem to have one. You see? Oh my gosh. What the F? <laughs> oh. So you need to order a part? I never took that off in the first place. Does anybody know? <laughs> Dude, I was just like, oh, you know what, I'll button Hopefully, up the... Hopefully, uh, you don't have to... Uh, take it out? Take it back out to put that on. <laughs> Although, that would be kind of our thing, you know? How many leaf springs have we done? Like, 12. I've done so many leaf springs, honey. So? So many. I'm so tired. Irregardless. Oh, my goodness. Stop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Shelter in place. Wash your hands. Smash your wives. All your hot wives Stop. out there. I love the nation. You guys are great. The Project Runway Nation. Let's keep up this going. Keep this up going. I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with those shot mounts? Damn!